three survivors. In this video I'm going to talk about why the narcissist wants to keep you sick. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive the notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfathercoaching at gmail.com. The narcissist wants to keep you sick. They want you to remain affected by physical or mental illness. They want to keep you in a state where you are constantly deteriorating. Where you become prog progressively worse. If you have a physical illness, they might find covert ways to worsen the effects of your condition. They might interfere with your medication or put something that you are allergic to in your food. Or they might simply neglect your proper care and not get you the help that you need to recover. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you are likely to suffer from anxiety, stress, depression and sleep dis disturbances. If you were dealing with a healthy, functional person, they would be very cautious to avoid any potential problems or dangers that could occur when they are around you. But when you are with a narcissist, they will use any vulnerability, weakness or insecurity against you. They have no morals or standards. If the narcissist is aware that you are suffering from anxiety or stress, they will find ways to make you more anxious or stressed. They might start arguments with you for no apparent reason or make loud noise, move things around in your home, put pressure on you to meet certain deadlines or complete certain tasks. They will randomly rearrange meetings or plans that you have made. Whatever it takes to make you feel more anxious or stressed. If you are suffering from depression, they will find ways to make you more depressed. They might stop spending time with you or they might try to isolate you. They will sabotage or take away anything good in your life. If you suffer from sleep disturbances, they will try to keep you up at night. They might wake you up in the middle of the night or wake you up early in the morning. They will act as though they have your best interest in mind and as though they really care about you, but they don't. They might even be the root cause of your health problems. The narcissist wants to keep you sick because it makes it easier for them to control you. If you have a physical illness, you might not be able to go out and do the things that you would normally do. 
you are going to be stuck at home waiting for the narcissist which is exactly what they want they want someone who is always waiting around for them whenever they need them If you are suffering from anxiety, stress, depression or sleep, dis sleep disturbances it makes it a lot easier for the narcissist to control. They can make you more anxious, stressed, depressed and interrupt your sleep. They can use this as a form of abuse or manipulation to obtain supply. When you are with a narcissist and you are sick, there are usually two things that can happen. The first possibility is that the narcissist will acknowledge your suffering, but they will not show any empathy or compassion for you. The second possibility is that the narcissist will not acknowledge your suffering. They will act as though there is nothing wrong with you and treat you as a regular person. With the first possibility, they will not show any empathy or compassion for you because your needs are not important to them. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about their own needs. Even though you are sick, they will still expect you to serve them. They might even become hateful or angry towards you because you are sick. Your sickness means that you are less able to serve them or cater to their needs. In the narcissist's mind, you are defective as you are no longer capable of giving them what they need. But rather than putting in the work and helping you to recover so that you can function at optimal level and then cater to them, the narcissist will try to keep you sick. Narcissists want instant gratification. They are not going to wait around so you can get better and then give them what they need. They will try to keep you sick as a way of obtaining the supply with no delay. With the second possibility, they will act as though they do not see any symptoms of a sickness. They will not acknowledge your suffering. They will pretend as though there is nothing wrong with you. The reason why they will do this is because they believe that if they do not acknowledge what you are going through, you won't need to get help. They want to believe in their minds that there is nothing for you to recover from and this is just the way you are. This is how they want you to be. It is more beneficial for them if you were to remain in this condition. It makes it a lot easier for them to abuse and manipulate you. It makes it a lot easier for them to obtain supply. They also believe that if they do not acknowledge your suffering and pretend as though you are not sick, they cannot be held accountable for their actions. Their actions of taking advantage 
were exploiting you while you were going through this. But they are fully aware of what you are going through. They just pretend as though they don't see anything wrong with you. Because it continues the opportunity for them to take advantage of you or exploit your, your sickness. This is a common strategy which narcissists use. And many victims could be in a real mess when the narcissist finally discards them. There was one woman who was in such an extreme state of anxiety that she would jump and panic at everything that moved, including her, her own shadow. The narcissist also managed to get three different therapists to convince her that she was a narcissist. That's just how these narcissists treat people. They will drive you clinically insane while you are spending all of your time trying to serve them or make them happy. And even after everything you have done for them, they will still have no empathy or compassion for you. They will blame you for everything and even call you the narcissist. That's just how sick and twisted these people are. I highly rec recommend that if you are in a relationship with a narcissist and you are experiencing this where the narcissist is taking advantage or exploiting your sickness please get out and go no contact if you can't do that at least try to speak to someone outside of the narcissist these people will destroy everything good about you and then blame you for that too Anything good just seems to die around these people. Good cannot coexist with evil. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfavorcoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can set up for our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narcs Fever merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narcs Fever t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narcs Fever merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.